Hello, this is Pink Roid, and today we're doing the SWC replay class. Uh, I'm re-watching the match against Hanselot. It's the second match, and let's look into the draft. So Hanselot pre-banned the Moor, and I pre-banned the Yong Hong. Uh, I chose to pre-banned Yong Hong because I thought she would have the fastest swift set. Uh, so Hanselot first pick Vanessa. It's a pretty universal first pick. And then I answered with Oliver and Miles because I didn't, didn't really know what to do. So I picked just some universal units. And I still wanted to try to speed contest, that's why I picked the Oliver. Then he picked Han Sagar. And then I picked the Sekhmet and the Rakuni. Uh, Sekhmet because she counters like 10 1 stuff kind of. So I wanted still to speed contest. And she also counters Han and the Sagar. Because they do it to our decently long cooldowns. And Wakuni is just there to prevent the cigar from provoking me. Yeah, Hans Lot answered with Escher cigar. So I guess he was trying to outspeed me. And then he last picked a Lima. Which is not that scary, I thought. Then I was contemplating to pick a Juno. But like, then I would be kind of forced to ban the Han. Since he would just wipe my Juno. So I ended with locking in the Wind Robo. And I was kind of contemplating if his Ashe would outspeed my Wind Robo. And I guess I didn't think he would, so I just banned the Vanessa. Otherwise I should have banned the Ashe. Yeah, it's better to ban the Vanessa if he lets my Wind Robo through. Uh, my Sekhmet gets turn 1, but she misses on the Cigar, which is kind of unfortunate. Then my Miles goes and just does some damage. And then there's a huge resistance here for my Oliver. And he is max resistance, but I assume his, oh, his cigar is also max accuracy. But I guess it's fair since my Sekhmet also missed. And then he tries to kill the Sekhmet with the Han, because she is most likely gonna be like the lowest resistance. Because I won my Oliver, Miles, and Rakuni on max res. I decided to reset the Azure, because I thought his third skill would do the most damage. And I want the invincibility as well. Yeah, now now I just try to kill the Han while resetting the other stuff with Sekhmet, since Han is the most threat. Now, now I just focus the Han down. But the mouse almost died. That's, I got a nice poke here, which was pretty huge. I decided to strip the Lima and reset her. Maybe it wasn't the best play, since Sagar poked and he almost has his skills. At this point I thought I would lose, because he's about to kill my Miles, which he did. And now I would be kinda low on damage. It would be kinda hard to kill the Han as well, since Miles died. And also my Oliver survived with literally 1 HP, which also kinda saved me the game. And then my Sekhmet missed, which is actually good, because now she would have a dirt skill again. I just used it for damage. And this way I could kill the Oliver, I mean the Han. And it's actually good, resist she resisted again. She got resisted again. So now I would have dirt skill again to reset something. And from this point, I think I will win after killing the Lima. Because Cigar and Asher are both HP scaling. And as longer the game goes on, the less damage they will do to my... And yeah, it's basically one now, after I kill the Lima. It still got pretty close at the end, kinda, when he almost killed my uh, Sekhmet. The Sagar and Asher combo. But it's good, a good thing that he glanced all the time. Now when Asher is dead, it's basically over. Yeah, now it's one, pretty much. Let's play Summoner's Warrior, this game is so much fun! <laughs> 